Oh, three replays. Uh, I'll talk about it. Here we go, chat. Um, we have got Daniel versus Ashley today. And Daniel, you guys will likely remember. By the way, these are ranked replays, which you'll be able to easily tell once the first goal is scored. But And there it is. The first one will be crossbar and down from Daniel. Daniel, of course, our 14-year-old wonder. Used to be 13-year-old, but can you believe it or not? Players just keep getting older. Um, yo, what up, feed? Father. Daniel um, has been a top one player for a long time. He hasn't really grinded for his number one spot in a while, but he's always up in the near the top ten. And Ashley is this new player on the scene from EU who is playing with one arm, but is also absolutely insane. I mean, you couldn't possibly know that he was playing with one arm. From what I've watched him, uh, there's absolutely no evidence. Like, you'd think that maybe there was some kind of you know, car position or anything that, you know, he wouldn't be able to do. He has figured out how to play perfectly um, with one arm. And we actually talked in chat before. Uh, you can check out his uh, stream. He does stream a lot. Exactly what his name is here on screen. Uh, without the dot, but underscore RL. Um, and he's awesome to watch, man. We've seen him on Johnny Boys and, you know, other ranked replays that he's played. But... He's one of the best players there is right now, and uh, he does it with one arm. And now we're going to see how he does it against Daniel today. These are three ranked replays um, from a month ago. They're from February. It's uh, March 23rd right now for everybody watching it live. But, you know, we have Daniel on our stream a lot, so he seemed like that would be a good set of replays to showcase Ashley against him. So in this game, number one, Daniel first to score. Going up 2-0, Ashley has not found a way to get past Daniel just yet, but it has lots of open field, and this should be the very first one, as I timed it ever so perfectly. Vaylaw, you're doing a show match tonight. Um, yeah, we'll likely try and do at least one live show match after tonight's replay cast. Uh, Fee, thank you for the one month for two, or the tier one for two months, man. Very, very much appreciated. He goes for so many irritable bumps. Chat informing us that Ashley is an irritable bump master. I was just thinking about yesterday how um, how Mo is probably one of the better air dribble bumpers that we've seen on stream and one of the better ones players right now. But there's lots of people who like to go for them and don't necessarily do them as effectively as Mo. Apparently, maybe Ashley will be up there with the best of them. delayed flick from Daniel. These guys have been giving each other a lot, a lot of space. And we've seen that from Daniel in the past few times he's been playing. And I think it's a mix-up from his old style. The OG fans will remember that Daniel used to be an in-your-face demo type player who never ever gave you a moment to breathe, but has since transferred into a much more spaced out 1v1 player willing to let the opposition put on, you know, an open field opportunity and just make the save. And that's going to really play into Ashley's air dribble bumping style, which apparently is what Chad tells me is his style. We haven't seen him go for it all too much at the start of this game. Daniel up 3-2. Nice two touches. Really well positioned away from the back wall to make it hard for Ashley to make the save. He keeps that ball high and near the far post. It means Ashley cannot wait hanging out on the other side of the net. He has to jump off the wall to begin his uh, defensive play. And Daniel can just time his extra touch very easily. This time, Daniel having to use the ceiling reset early just to get it past Ashley. Playing a little bit of keep away. Just trying to do his best to never let Ashley get in his groove. And a fifth goal for Daniel. As he is able to successfully punish Ashley. Wiz is playing pretty unreal right now. He's improved a lot this season. Yeah, Wiz is insane. Wiz is uh, number one ranked all of the world. Not, normally we say one NA because, you know... Khaled ruins it for us and is number one. But, but Wiz has actually moved all the way up into the number one global spot, which is insane. And for all I know, he actually already lost it because, um, you know, Khaled usually doesn't let anybody hold on to it 
for uh, longer than a few days. The last time a, I think Mile maybe had number one global for a bit, and then before Mile, I think Daniel had number one global for a while, but otherwise it's basically Kalid all the time. The man does not want anybody else to have number one global. Nice flip reset from Ashley. Just barely far post. Can't quite make it in. Daniel, his challenge will clear him. Give it a lot of space. Khaled will queue any server and win. That's the difference. Even on 200 ping. Yeah, he, he will queue anything. That's my understanding. Because I know people who have played US East, I think, have gone up against him. And uh, not necessarily done too well, despite the extreme ping advantage. Daniel playing with very little boost. Tried to continue that play all the way to the net. Prioritizing the ball over boost grabs and just barely not able to squeeze it in, in time. But a two goal lead for Daniel and a nice long shot, man. Daniel does this, you know, other than Kinsey, and that was a forfeit right there. Daniel does that basically better than anyone else we've seen on stream. But Daniel's going to take game number one. Game number two. A second ranked game between Daniel and Ashley. All these games that we're watching tonight, I believe, were played on the same day. And if not the same day, they were um, consecutive days, like two of them on one and, and one the next day. Um, Ashley, gonna turn it around here a little bit at the start of this game. Two direct kickoffs. Oh, never mind, Daniel, sorry. I, I just, I think Ashley may have been on the red team last time. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. Daniel gonna start, oh wait. Oh, chat, oh chat. I had swapped. Chet, this is, this is peak performance um, as far as casting goes, and honestly, you just have to accept that. Um, Daniel, an immediate kickoff goal. Ashley, an immediate kickoff goal as well. These guys tied one-to-one. -one. Um, I'm going to blame the fact that, you know, Daniel has a yellow car, which makes me think he's on the red team. Daniel playing very patient. Here on his back half, and I scoop under Ashley to be able to grab the hunter boost at the side wall. But Ashley has enough boost to not need to head back. Oh my! Oh my goodness, Daniel! That was absolutely insane. Oh my goodness! That shot off the wall, flip reset. Th those are the times we really feel like we need a replay. But Daniel absolutely clipping his mind out of. Our boy Ashley. Ashley looks like he got the flip reset there, but he must not have because he, it was a perfect opportunity to use it and would almost definitely scored over top of Daniel. Daniel with the bump for a third. A nice bounce dribble gets Ashley to pre jump and he just snipes him out of the air. You doing any more show matches tonight after this? Wavy? Yeah, I think that's the plan, Wavy. If you want to play, we might be able to find you an opponent. Daniel up the side wall again. Early flip. He's been using these flips as early as he possibly can because Ashley is doing a really good job of challenging right away. One thing Daniel is known for is getting those flip resets early and then he can use them at any point during the flight of his air dribble. And right now he's getting them right away and using them right away because Ashley is trying to cut Daniel off before he gets started, which is a good idea. Daniel's so lethal with those flip reset plays. Huge flick from Dan. Ashley, not the most efficient take off the back wall. And Daniel going to force his way into the net. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought maybe for a second Ashley had gotten the save. Those team decals can be confusing. Exactly, chat. Exactly. Ashley, chip up. That flip reset, not worth it when he falls above that ball, losing the ability to keep it in air. He has to force it down to the ground, makes it so easy to make a save. And halfway through this game, Daniel with another lead. Air dribble bump, that's what we told you, you did so often. Oh my goodness, no, Daniel able to make the save. Ashley, the backflip on the goal line's not gonna do it. And the long shot from Daniel, some frustration boosts from Ashley. And Daniel gonna take a 5-1 lead. That is such a tough go for Ashley on what was a really good shot attempt at the air dribble bump. But Daniel able to avoid it 
and keep it out on the goal line. Low 50 for Ashley, just off the post and out, and Daniel's back in time, and that's a forfeit. Yeah, wow, that that was a rough sequence there for Ashley. Could not buy a break. I had a feeling that uh, we could see something like this, considering it's a ranked match where, where players forfeit a little bit earlier than uh, they normally would in a show match. But man, Ashley could not catch a break. And uh, going to drop the second ranked game to Daniel. Here we go. Chat game number three. Daniel versus Ashley. This time, Daniel's orange uh, esports decal is on the orange team, or his yellow esports decal is on the orange team. So it's going to make a little bit more sense for me. And Ashley, luckily, in the blue... Also an esports decal. They could easily have been on opposite teams and just screwed our brain. Nice start from Ashley. I think Ashley uh, started off the last one with a kickoff goal as well. This is a good flip reset wave dash to uh, arrow shot. Oh no, not the best of kickoffs for Ashley, but able to recover. Could have been a lot worse. Daniel likely a little bit in Ashley's head here, having won two ranked matches before this. A nice 50 on the sidewall. What's going on, Desert RL? Daniel with absolutely no boost on the kickoff, just walking his way to the back wall, trying to find a way into the net. And that's the reason why you don't see players doing that a lot. Ashley able to take it away fairly easily. The counterattack uncontested due to Daniel diving so deep with no boost kick out possession for Ashley Daniel I don't even think he went to go grab corner boost he immediately comes to challenge but a good low 50 for Ashley to stay in control of this play a lot of physical touch but man Daniel recovers so well from those bumps you think you've got him out of the play but he is right back in it before you know Daniel trying to wave dash kickoff. Not going to work to get in possession. Ashley at the side wall at the start of this one. Great flip reset. Decides not to use it, and it's perfect. As Daniel comes off the side wall, predicting the, per the use of Ashley's flip. He done such a good job of setting himself up to really put it anywhere in the net. And uh, ultimately goes for the fake this time around. And Daniel totally falls for a nice shot. I don't know what they call this flick anymore, but it almost was like a reverse Jonski. Daniel tying it back up 3-3. Three to three. I think he tied it up at 3-3 uh, three to three at 333, which is beautiful. You always hope to get something exactly like that. But Ashley having a hard time holding on to leads against the Daniel youngster. 360 at midfield baiting Daniel into taking that long shot maybe thinking he'd have an opportunity to expose Ashley on an awkward power slide but a lot of patience from both these guys Ashley setting up the shadow defense not the best it touches to the side wall Daniel gonna have a great bouncing ball tries to take the immediate shot on net and it will be easily saved Ashley can hold on to his 59 boost, more than enough to make a play. Daniel gonna give him a lot of space and interesting late flick from Ashley. Thought he was gonna go for the air dribble bump like apparently he's known to do often, but instead went for the delayed flick and ended up pushing the ball out of the net himself. Ashley tapped to the side wall. Oh my goodness, did not want a backwards challenge this one. Was facing awkward, instead Thought staying in the shadow would have been the way to go, but he left the ball rolling out to Daniel for a very easy shot. Ashley needed to consider cutting that off long before Daniel even had a shot attempt. Flip reset for Daniel. The musty is saved away. And Ashley, a nice catch. Daniel is a fast recoverer. If he doesn't get this immediate touch on net, he will not be able to secure that goal after a nice save so four to four two minutes left to go Ashley looking to take Daniel down in one of these matchups I imagine they're playing on US East I don't think Daniel cues EU 
I think for the most part, the EU guys queue in the East to get more games, more so than you see the opposite. Daniel shot off the wall, saved away. Once again, another open field dribble. Daniel waiting on the goal line. Air dribble bump. You know it's coming, but Daniel is able to dodge it again. Ashley not making the adjustment late in that challenge to get in Daniel's way. Daniel scooping around the side. Daniel pop up to himself. Has to kill it with his wheels to slow it down. The 50 not able to find his way in. Not the best of first touches from Daniel. And he needed to actually get wheel touches in order to keep the ball from flying too far. Ashley trying to wait on the ground. Oh my goodness, Daniel! How does he do it, man? Ashley is ready, but Daniel just booms the ball perfectly on the crossbar. Other players just don't score those. That is a situation where Ashley has more than enough space waiting in shadow defense. Normally, the worst thing to do in that situation is to power shot the ball where it can be easily saved, but man, Daniel just gets so much oomph on those shots and so perfectly placed he'll squeeze it under the crossbar and Ashley staring at a one goal deficit with 30 seconds left to go has yet to be able to take Daniel down nice demo for Daniel 23 seconds he could take this into his own half if he really wanted to but no he'll slow roll it Ashley with the pre-flip expecting Daniel to shoot it stronger than he did so 19 seconds left, no forfeit from Ashley. Under the impression that with a good kickoff, he might be able to tie it back up. But Daniel in control once again. Late flick, oh my goodness, Daniel. A great musty, and there's the forfeit. Daniel winning all three ranked games against Ashley at a crazy end to this one. But Daniel takes it three to zero.